Stacy, put the phone down. This is between you and me. The hell it is. You're asking me to abort Rex's child. If it were up to you, you wouldn't tell him for 10 years. You think I'm controlling him? You're the one using this pregnancy to trap Rex, to get him to love you. But you know what? He is never going to love you the way you want to be loved. And if you have this baby just to use it as a weapon, it'll backfire, Stacy. You'll just end up making yourself and the child miserable. Is that what you want? Oh, you don't give a damn about what I want. You never have. And now you're worried that I'm gonna hurt myself or my baby? You're just worried that Rex is gonna hurt you, that he's gonna leave you and Shane for the two of us. That will never happen. Oh, you know what? You can't fool me. You're scared, and you should be, because every time you see Rex, you'll picture him making love to me. And you can try and shake it off, but you won't be able to. And the due date will get closer and closer, and Rex and I will be so busy trying to get ready for this baby. But of course, you never got to do that with Rex, did you? You never went shopping for a crib or a mobile or a nightlight. He never put his hand on your stomach to feel the baby kick. Rex doesn't want you anywhere near him. That's when you'll start to resent him. And you know what? You should. Because he gave me a child. He linked himself to me forever. Which is when you'll start being a bitch that tries to keep him away from me, but all you're gonna end up doing is pushing him further into my arms for good. You know, what do I know, right? I don't know anything about real life. Take your abortion money and get the hell out of my house. What are you gonna do, Dad? Are you gonna be a dad to Aunt Susie's baby? I don't know, it's tough. How can she even be allowed to have a kid? She's like the meanest person ever. Or sometimes having a baby changes people. Not her, all she cares about is herself. People thought that about me when your mom was pregnant with you. Well, that was different, you didn't know about me. Well, you grew up without a dad. But you wanted one, right? Well, this baby will too. Do you know for sure that you're the dad? No, I don't. Well, can't you take some sort of test or something? Not for a while. So now, NCC just gets to go around like she did nothing wrong. She's gonna rub it in mom's face. What if she takes you away again? Hey, that won't happen, buddy. You say that now. What if you get all mushy around the baby? What if Aunt Stacy needs help? You're a good guy, Dad. You'd help her. Then Aunt Stacy and the baby will be your family. What happens to Mom and me? Shane, I'm not going anywhere. I'm your dad, and I always will be. I love you. I love you too, Dad. We are a team. Me, you, and your mom. And nothing can take that away. No matter what happens with Stacy and the baby, I'm always going to be there for you and your mom. Promise. What's going on? What happened? I know, Mom. I'm gonna be a big brother. Bitch. Where the hell does she get off? Coming into my place and telling me what to do? Telling me to kill my baby? She has no right! She's trying to get me to ruin my life so she can steal everything away from me again. Well, you know what? She's not. She's not getting Rex back. Ow. Ow! Stacey, it's gonna be okay. It's no big deal. Everything's gonna be fine. Lindsay, it's first to go away. Ow! Ow! God! God! Please help me! Please help! 
saying, honey, please go upstairs. But, Mom, we'll call you when we're ready to talk, okay, baby? Fine. You told him? I, I wanted to wait for you. Why didn't you? I tried. But he was asking all sorts of questions, and I, I couldn't just not answer them. And then he said he was going to go ask Stacy. I figured he should at least hear it from me. So, how'd it go? Terrible. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Wish I could have been here. It's not your fault. You wanted to go to Vicky's wedding. Wait, it's over? I didn't go to the wedding. I went to see Stacy instead. Why? Is that her again? Stop calling me! Okay. No more interruptions. Why did you go see Stacy? When I left here, I was upset. Doesn't seeing her make things worse? I had to do something. So I went to an ATM and I took this money out. Okay. And then I went to the loft. I, I don't know. I just started saying it. It just came out. Why, Gigi? What did you say to Stacy? I told Stacy that I thought she should get an abortion. Hello? Someone call 911? Please, please. Someone there? I'm here. Ma'am, what happened? No, I need to call Rex. I need to call him. Can you tell us how you ended up on the floor? Did you did you fall? From a scale of one to ten, how severe is your pain? Ten. I'm gonna call Med Central. I need to do that. I'm gonna get her vitals. Stacy, 